Hello friends, um, you're never gonna believe this. I just spent like 45 minutes trying to upload a 12 minute video to this YouTube channel. You guys, I did not learn this stuff in seminary. So um, the good news is my loss is your gain because I'm not gonna spend uh, all that time on another 12 minute long video. Uh, just for a few um, updates for our Midtown Musings here. That, that's what we're calling this, Midtown Musings. Uh, my name's Ross Dixon. If you don't know me, I pastor a church here in Columbia called Midtown Presbyterian Church. Um, you know, every week we send out an email on Wednesdays. We call that our Midtown Minute email. Uh, if you want to get that, you can just go to our website, midtownpres.com, scroll to the bottom, put your email address in the blank there, and you'll start to get our email. You can unsubscribe at any time. But it is the best way to keep up with all the things we have going on. So uh, a couple of musings here they're gonna, that are going to help keep this video a little bit shorter. Two things in particular I want you to know about. One, May 20th. May 20th is a Wednesday. And at 8 p.m., we are gonna have a Zoom meeting, a church-wide Zoom meeting, or for anybody, frankly, if you just want to attend, it's gonna be about 45 minutes or less. We're gonna try to keep it brief since it is an evening time, but that Zoom meeting, uh, we are calling our year-end update. Uh, that's right, every year around the month of May, toward the end of May, we like to give sort of a, an update about where we've been as a church and where we are going. Um, and nobody's too sure where we're going, but we have hopes and dreams and we want to be on the same page. Uh, also, there's going to be a Q&A time during that or toward the end of that Zoom meeting. So that's the first thing, May 20th, 8 p.m., okay? Yeah, yes, I know, I know, it's late. 8 p.m. in the evening is late. However, friends, uh, we have some parents with young children who don't go to bed until 6.30 or 7 or 7.30 in the evening. We want those parents to be able to join us as well. So let's do that. Secondly, here today, I want to talk to you for just a moment about uh, this coming Sunday, May 17th. Some of you know that we are going to be gathering in person for worship at Midtown. Now, there's several things that I want to mention about that. Um, that is going to be available also through other means of correspondence, through our social media, through our email updates. This is just another way for you to hear it from me. And I will preface this part by saying, um, please email me if you have any questions whatsoever about anything I'm about to say. Uh, we are all about uh, honoring one another and uh, striving for the safety uh, of those who come to worship at Midtown. And so this coming Sunday, instead of one service at 10 a.m., we're actually going to have two services. They will be smaller in number, though. Now, if you have been paying attention to these things, you know that about a week ago, I said we would have three services. Well, the earliest one, the 8 a.m. option, has received little interest. So we're going to start back with just two services, one at 9.30 and then one at 11. And we are also still going to be live streaming as well. We know that just because we are beginning the process of re-entering worship together in person doesn't mean that everyone is ready to do that. And so... Uh, you can still live stream at home the 9.30 a.m. service. That's the only one that we will live stream. For those of you planning to come to Midtown in person, a couple of things you should know. Uh, there's going to be no coffee available, nor any bagels available. We're even going to keep the restrooms closed for the vast majority of the time. I say vast majority because what I mean is... Uh, the restrooms are only available in case of an emergency. Please, in other words, go potty before you come to church. Our, uh, our worship space, the building will be thoroughly cleaned before you arrive and then cleaned between services. Um, when you come, please bring a face covering of some sort. Uh, if you forget yours, if you leave it home, we will have some bandanas like this available 
Um, and just because we're wearing a face covering doesn't mean that it detracts from our worship or our singing. If I put my bandana on and I sing to you, Come thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. You couldn't tell a difference at all, could you? No. The reason why we're asking people to wear these is because during a worship service, especially during congregational singing, there are microscopic droplets, particles that escape our mouths into the open air. And again, during a time of a pandemic like this, we want to take every opportunity to be safe uh, and to love one another by bearing with one another by doing something as simple as donning a face covering. In addition to these things, there will be no children's church nor any nursery available. However, the nursery space and the children's lesson room will be available for parents who, if you decide to come and your child just needs a minute to get up and move around, you can take your child to one of those two rooms. We are leaving it up to you, parents, uh, to help your kids respect the, the, the space of others around them, both adults and children. Um, we understand if you want to wait a while before you bring your kids. Uh, however, if you're planning to come, we look forward to seeing you. We just want you to know that those are kind of our guidelines. Uh, again, if you plan to come in person, you must register. That's right. Um, we are limiting uh, the number in attendance to 25 uh, as our sign-up, and you can sign up via our website. Go to midtownpres.com and find the COVID-19 tab, and under there you will see uh, a sign up, and we'll say register here. Uh, click that, sign up, let us know you're coming so that we can keep the numbers to where they need to be as we gradually re-enter uh, being together in person. This is one way that we care for each other. It's also another way that we strive towards safety. And it's another way that actually we honor our local government who has specific guidelines about public gatherings like this in place. We want to honor uh, our city uh, as they seek to give care for all in our community as well. If you have questions, again, about any of this, please let me know, ross at midtownprez.com. Even if you don't have a question, but if there's something that I can be praying for, for you, praying about, that may be a better way to say it, uh, praying about for you, friends, please let me know. Uh, it is no secret that these are weighty times that we're living in. Uh, you may feel overwhelmed. You may feel burdened. Um, you may have a case of the blahs. Uh, I would love to be praying for you. Or if you just want to talk sometime, if you'd like to have a, a, a Zoom a coffee meeting, uh, I am up for that. Lastly, uh, a word uh, that I hope is an encouragement to you. You know, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. You know, I'm tempted every day to lean toward my own understanding. And I know that whenever I do, uh, lean on my own understanding. Uh, I feel sometimes, if not many times, a bit more burdened. Uh, I can easily feel a bit more overwhelmed. Um, but I can say from life experience, and even though I know this to be true, it can sometimes feel hard to do, uh, to go to the Lord and ask for his understanding and to ask for his wisdom uh, really does land me in a better place. It usually lands me in a place of less anxiety and of more peace. And I think that's what God desires for us, his children, that we look to him and acknowledge him in all of our ways. Will you do that with me today? Let's try again today to lean into our God and his loving care for us. I'll tell you what, I'm going to finish our time here by praying for you. Uh, if you're the type uh, you can close your eyes or you can just watch me as I pray for you. Oh Lord, we are grateful for your kindness and mercy to us again today. And we look to your kindness. We look to your mercy 
to be that which upholds us and which strengthens us and which gives us your understanding, which is far better than our own. Be again, O Lord, for us, the one who lifts our heads and gives joy to our hearts. And we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lastly, friends, just a reminder, again, this coming Sunday, 9.30 and 11 a.m., and you don't have to be a Midtown regular to come. Uh, if you've never visited Midtown before and you would like to, and you're given to re-entering uh, things in our community, uh, this is one thing that we are gradually doing together. You are welcome to register and join us on Sunday if there's space as well. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.